Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and Sony just released a new firmware for the A6300. The version is 1.10 and it's supposed to help with uh, the temperature control. So this should help with overheating hopefully. So I'm gonna install it and I'm not gonna show you how to do it. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, the link is in the description of where to download the firmware and you just need to install it and hook your camera up through a USB. And once it's finished, you just wanna make sure that it actually installed properly. So go to the version number and make sure that you got the new firmware installed. So I am gonna be doing this test with the small rig cage on the camera. And it's a pretty hot day today, but I'm gonna be in the shade. We're getting close to our first 30 minutes. We're getting close to 30 minutes again. So we now made it a full hour and the battery has died. So I'm putting in a new battery. But the uh, memory card actually ran out at this point, so I had to put a new memory card in. So we're going for another 30 minutes. And at this point, the battery died again. All right guys, I'm really impressed. This firmware actually fixed the overheating issue on the A6300. And I don't think it was just them raising the temperature limit because I touched the camera and it didn't feel that hot. And you know, it's about 26 degrees today in Toronto and it's actually probably more like 35 degrees with humidity. But uh, we made it to two hours and 10 minutes and that's not because the camera overheated. That's because I ran out of batteries. I only brought two with me and we made it to the first hour and 20 minutes on the first battery. And then uh, obviously the second battery, and then I had to put a new memory card in because I ran out through 64 gigs. This entire test is like close to like 100 gigs of video right now. I shot outside today, not in direct sunlight, I was in shade, but it's still really hot out today and I was sweating the whole time. And uh, this is probably the most boring test ever. It's like watching paint dry. Anyway, you guys, it's awesome to see that Sony actually fixed the issue. So if you're filming in shade, it's fine, but what if you want to shoot in direct sunlight on a really hot day? Well. Obviously the sun is gonna heat the camera up and it's not really a fair test, but this could be your case if you wanna shoot in the sun. And uh, you will get the temperature indicator light come on around four minutes. And for me, it actually didn't last much longer than six minutes. The camera body was just too hot. And uh, you know, that's kind of what I expected. It's not really a fair test. That's why I did it in the shade. If you like this video, thumbs up. If you dislike this video, thumbs down twice and I'll see you in the next one.